Using object masks in Arnold is very similar to creating an object buffer in Cinema 4D's standard renderer. The first step is to add an Arnold object mask tag to the object or group of objects in your scene you'd like to mask. In my case, I want to mask out these three vases and the coffee table. So I'm going to add a tag to each of these. You can find the tag under C4D2A tags, Arnold object mask. I'm going to add one to the coffee table. You'll see by default the object mask is named object mask 1, object mask 2, object mask 3, etc, etc, depending on how many masks you make. Um, you can go ahead and rename that to something more specific to the objects. And then say I want to group all of these vases in one mask as well, just in case. We can do that too. And the way you would do that is by adding another tag to all of these and then just titling it the same. So we can just call it base group. And that should create one mask for all the bases. So then you're gonna to go to the Arnold render settings and navigate to the AOVs tab. If you scroll down to the custom field, you'll see custom AOVs for all the different masks we've created. So now we're just going to highlight all of these and activate them. You could double click them too, that will activate them and put them into the active AOVs list. You'll see them at the bottom of our active AOVs list. Once they've been activated, you can go to the display driver and you should see your custom masks under the display driver. We can exit out of the settings. I'm gonna fire up the IPR window. So once the IPR window is up and running, you can go through and check each of your masks to make sure they're working properly. Looks like ours are. So I'm gonna stop the IPR window. The next step is you're going to want to render out your image as a multi-layer EXR file. Make sure you have multi-layer file checked off. Import the image into your compositing app of choice. I'm gonna use After Effects. So in After Effects, if you set up the preferences correctly, it'll just extract all of your passes individually for you. And that's what I have going on here. But in case you don't know how to do that, I'll just show you really quickly. You're gonna drop your image into a new comp, select your image, duplicate it, navigate to Effect, 3D Channel, Extractor, you hit the layers parameter and then navigate to the layer you want to select. Boom. So there's our mask for our larger vase. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to use the comp that's already extracted. And you can see if I go through and solo these masks, we have all of the masks that we set up in our render. And that's how you use object masks in Arnold for Cinema 4D. If you found that helpful, please throw me a like down below, and I will see you in the next tutorial.